Hello VC, what's going on? It's me, Will. And yes, I'm back again with a rare new video. I know I haven't been around very much lately with uh, with new videos. Just been really busy with uh, life in general. Uh, but I wanted to make sure I come back uh, with a new music update video because there has been a lot of really great new releases in, the, in this year, in 2019. And I've been picking up a lot of them. I have here a stack full of uh, new records to show you. Uh, all of them are new. Uh, actually, all of them are uh, 2019 releases, with the exception exception of one, which was released uh, last year in 2018. Uh, so yeah, lots of great new music. Let's go ahead and check it out. And let's start off with uh, a new record from Bleached, the California pop punk slash indie rock band. And if you watch my videos, you may be familiar with them. I'm a huge fan of them. I really like their, especially their last album that came out, I think in 2017. Uh, definitely made it to my top 10 albums of the year that year. And uh, this is their newest album called uh, Don't You Think You've Had Enough? And it came out uh, a few months ago in 2019 on Dead Oceans Records. I, of course, went ahead and pre ordered this one because I'm a big fan of this band. And I actually got a chance to see them live. Uh, they came to town a few months ago. Came in with a nice gatefold cover. It's both of them, the Clavin sisters. And since I pre-ordered it, I think it came in with a few extra goodies and a color, color vinyl. And in the insert, the insert's really nice. Came in with a huge poster with the, the lyrics in the back. And the record itself came in really cool. Um, Kind of like a cream colored vinyl. There it is with the custom labels. So, yeah, Bleached, uh, great uh, pop punk band, uh, very indie rock influenced, of course. Uh, some of their songs are a little bit harder, some of their songs are a little bit more mellow, but in general, they're really great and putting together a great melody and great catchy music. And this record is no exception, actually. I would say that this record they lean more towards the pop side of the pop punk. Uh, they really get into very poppy influenced music, uh, which uh, in, in my opinion it ended up sounding great. Great flowing record, lots of cra uh, catchy songs here. Uh, some of my favorites here are um, Daydream, Daydream, Hard to Kill, and uh, very very catchy. This one's uh, here called Rebound City. All right, uh, new music by X Hex, and this record's called It's Real. And I also got a chance to see this band live a few months ago. They played at the Earl, smaller venue, and I got to meet uh, the singer of the band, Mary Timoney, and she actually signed my record right here. And uh, this one came out also in 2019 on Merch Records. And I love the album cover on this one. It looks really 80s, almost like a Microsoft Paint artwork on this one. Really cool looking. And uh, Mary Timoney, the singer of the band, may sound familiar to you because she used to play in a band called White Flag, which was a side project from some of the, uh, the band members of Slirokini. And uh, this is her uh, full-time band now, X-Hex. Fantastic rock and roll band. Um, 
I would say if you're into rock and roll in general, into uh, big guitars, great guitar solos, catchy riffs, you will love X Hex because they they are really a great rock and roll band. Here's the back with the trio, and I got this one actually at the show, and I'm not sure if they had limited copies of this one or not, but this one came in a really kick-ass color vinyl, with the pink and. I don't know if you call it marbled or splattered um, blue vinyl, but it matches the artwork. I really love when they do it where they match the color of the vinyl with the um, uh, artwork itself. And this one does it really well. Make sure you check them out, X Hex with It's Real. Uh, and this might be also one of my favorite albums of the year so far. Alright, uh, up next, uh, new music also from CJ Ramon, he came out with a new album this year, The Holy Spell, and this one came out also on uh, Fat Records, and in, it also came out in 2019, so another new release from CJ Ramon. And I did not pre-order this one, I just got it straight from, from the Fat Records website. Great new music from CJ Ramon. This is everything that you would expect from him. Very catchy punk rock, maybe leaning a little bit more towards the pop punk in the last few years. Came in with a nice insert with the lyrics. And the record itself is just as your standard uh, black vinyl with uh, custom labels. Uh, the record is great. Uh, it's, everything is right up my alley. Uh, if you know me, you know that I like the pop punk music, especially very Ramones influenced pop punk music. Uh, and in this record, he combines a little bit of humor in some of his songs. Uh, some of the songs are very fast paced, a little bit a little bit mellower and sl slower. Great mix from CJ Ramon. Um, lots of self-deprecating songs as well. I think there was there was one song uh, I can't remember the, the name of the song, but there's a, a song where he talks about uh, reaching like almost like a, a midlife crisis, and he does it in a very humorous way, almost self-deprecating. Great new music from CJ Ramon. Make sure that you check him out. All right, up next, uh, this is a new band, um, fairly new band, I would say, uh, that I did not know much about them before I heard them on Spotify. I was just listening to Spotify randomly and I put it in one of those recommended mixes and uh, they played a song called Falling by this band, D uh, Dude York. And um, yeah, D uh, Dude York, I think they're from California, but I'm not sure about that. And uh, they played a song called Falling, and I immediately uh, got hooked to that song. I, I, I don't know, there was something very special about that song that I said I need to know more about this band. And I went ahead and ordered this one, or actually I went to the record store to pick it up. They had one copy of this one. This is their newest album. It also came out in 2019 on Harley Art Records. And this one's also called Falling, like the name of the, the song. And... Uh, uh, yeah, this, um, I love that song and I, I said to myself I have to pick up, uh, pick up the record because it sounds amazing and the record came in with a lot of goodies as well uh, even though it was like a record store release or a record store uh, purchase came in with a nice insert with a picture of the band and some credits and in the record itself came in with a promo poster as well promoting the band and the new album on Hardly Art Records and the record itself is really cool, really cool looking. This one is kind of like a splatter green, black and white, I would say, color. Looks great and still sounding great as well. And 
similar to uh, bands like Lemuria or Swearin, uh, very catchy pop punk or uh, very melodic indie rock, I would say. And uh, this record is really amazing, through, uh, front to back. Great sounding record, great flowing record. Um, if you're into indie rock, I would really recommend that you check this one out. Uh, but the best song in the album is uh, almost like a little bit of a, a ballad called Falling, which is the song that I mentioned before. Make sure that you check that one out at least. Again, New York with Falling. All right, uh, next. New music or new wish music from uh, the former singer from Throwing Muses, Kristen Hirsch. This is her last album that came out last year in 2018 on Fire Records. And this one's called Possible Dust Clouds. Uh, now, I'm not very familiar with uh, Christine Hirsch's solo music. I'm a huge fan of Throwing Muses, of course. And when I heard that she was coming to town on a tour uh, and his solo project, I went, of course, I went ahead and went to check her out. And she was amazing. Uh, in my opinion, it's one of my, the most recognizable voices of, um, of my generation, with, uh, of course, bands like uh, Throwing Muses and uh, some other great side projects that she's been involved in and her solo project is uh, really good as well uh, her voice is just phenomenal still to this day and uh, this record did not disappoint i didn't know, know much about it before i went ahead and purchased it at the show came with the inner sleeve with the lyrics and some additional artwork and the record itself came in just on standard black vinyl here's the hype, the, the hype sticker that came in in the record uh, but yeah, fantastic music, great voice. Uh, if you're into great female voices, uh, check out Kristen Hirsch, uh, one of the great, uh, greatest musicians around right now, I would say. And this one's called Possible Dust Clouds. Alright, and last but not least, uh, this one was one of my more antici uh, most anticipated records of the years. Um, when I saw that this band was releasing a new album, I, I of course, was start to follow them. This is the newest record from L7, uh, the classic hard rock band. Um, I think they're from California as well. Um, this one's called Scatter the Rats. New record from them from 2019 on a self-released label. Uh, you might know that L7 did the uh, whole crowdfunding thing where they were uh, asking fans to crowdfund or to fund their new record. And if you um, help them through the crowdfunding page, you get extra goodies as well. I didn't do the crowdfunding thing uh, because I heard some bad experiences about that of people not receiving records and things like that. Uh, but I went ahead and purchased it on the record store, just a standard record on vinyl. Um, it, didn't, uh, it did come in with a inner sleeve with a logo of L7 and some lyrics and credits. And the record itself came in just on standard black vinyl and the custom labels. And again, this also may be another one of my favorite albums of the year because it's just so great. Uh, they don't deviate too much with uh, compared to their previous releases, uh, but in my opinion, that's a great thing. This is a band that knows what they're good at doing and they just keep on doing it in, in a better fashion, I would say. Um, yeah. Great new music coming in from L7. This one's called Scatter the Rats. All right, so that's all I have to show you for today, VC. I picked, I've been picking up uh, a lot of great, uh, great new music lately, so I'm gonna try to do another uh, new music updates uh, hopefully soon. I've also been picking up uh, records and CDs lately, so I'm, I'm gonna have to show you that in the next uh, in the next video. Uh, thank you for watching, VC, and take care. Bye bye.